Dan Thomas. I'm the Communications Director and the spokesman for the President of the UN General Assembly. Uh, thank you for uh, attending this media stakeout following today's informal dialogue of the General Assembly. Uh, I'd like to announce, uh, uh, introduce you to Mr. Antonio Guterres, the former United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and former Prime Minister of his country, Portugal, which has nominated him as a candidate for the position of the next Secretary General of the United Nations. Sir, you have the floor. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen from the media, thank you very much for your presence. Uh, I want, first of all, to congratulate the President of the General Assembly for this excellent demonstration of transparency in the UN system. And um, I was very pleased to have this opportunity. And I'd like to say that uh, this shows uh, an important direction for the future of the organization. I'm here with uh, humility available for public service, uh, as I had the opportunity to say uh, inside uh, the uh, session room. Uh, I believe uh, that I'm an extremely privileged person, that uh, I've been given the opportunity to serve uh, in uh, different capacities, accumulating a wide range of experiences, and this creates an obligation for uh, uh, public service. Uh, and um, I remember I started uh, my citizenship activities, uh, working as a volunteer in the slums of Lisbon. And that made me understand uh, as the terrible problems that the population there was facing that there was no solution for them but a political solution. And that's why I became a politician. And then one day I discovered that uh, politics also have its limitations. Uh, and at a certain moment, uh, I thought that others should be better placed uh, to follow uh, in my country, the leadership of the party and of the country. And then I had the, this extraordinary opportunity to serve the most vulnerable of the vulnerable as High Commissioner for Refugees for more than 10 years. And again, you can't imagine the frustration to be trying to support people in desperate situations and knowing that we have no solution for their plight because the solution, as it was the case in the slums of Lisbon, is political. And that is why I, I think uh, that uh, in no other place in the world we have more chances to address as I said, the root causes of human suffering then uh, in the center of the UN system. That is the reason why I am a candidate. Thank you. Any question? More. Question over here. Please. Please. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Gutierrez. We were very impressed. You will need to speak a little oh, bit longer. Sorry. You Thank you. My name is Yes, sure. Shauna McGee with Kyoto oh. News. You were the only uh, candidate who answered the question about the total elimination of nuclear weapons. So would you elaborate a little bit on your answer? It leaves us a bit puzzled about whether it's just a dream or is it possible? What would you do if elected in this post? Thank you. I, I think that uh, uh, what I said in the room is exactly what I can say. I do believe that it is difficult to elaborate more on things where my competence doesn't simply exist. I have a dream. Uh, it's to member states that belong the possibility to one day my dream becoming true. Another question? Here's a, here's a question here. Sir. Thank you. Navina Lala from ARD German TV. Um, how are you planning to finance your campaign? To find? Finance, yeah. Finance. Finance. Campaign. My campaign? Yeah. yeah. Well, my campaign is very cheap, uh, first of all. And secondly, the, the Portuguese government uh, is uh, paying for the expenditures, uh, I mean, plane uh, tickets and hotels uh, in my uh, movements around and uh, also for the very uh, small logistic support that I have. Uh, but um, uh, I'm not worried about the Portuguese capacity to respect uh, the budgetary limits because of that. As you know, Portugal is in a complex process in related to budgetary limits. I don't think that this will be a problem. There's a gentleman, uh, gentleman here. Um, ben Oreskes from Politico Europe. I wonder if you could say a little bit more refugees are being sent back about... Sorry? Refugees, migrants are being sent back from Greece. I wonder if you could say a little bit more. You said in there, very articulate, about how Europe needs refugees. What more could the European Commission be doing? 
Well, I think that, first of all, uh, you still remember what I said when I was High Commissioner for Refugees, and the only thing I can tell you is that I fully support what the present High Commissioner for Refugees and UNHCR is saying at the present moment. Share with Voice of America. Uh, you covered so many different topics. Can you tell us what you think the number one priority facing the UN is uh, in in the next decade? Because uh, the next Secretary General will be his tenure will extend. As I said, long. prevention, prevention, prevention. You heard we are spending 70% uh, of our resources in peacekeeping, and in peacekeeping where there is no peace to keep. Uh, we are seeing the impacts of climate change. We are seeing the problems of uh, uh, inequality uh, and uh, um, uh, lack of inclusivity in development in many parts of the world. So to prevent with an holistic approach, uh, which means to address the three pillars of the UN activity from a prevention perspective, is clearly my per personal priority. Hi, uh, Dave Bryan with the AP. Um, how much of an obstacle do you think it is? of an obstacle to your campaign? Do you think it is that you're neither from Eastern Europe nor a woman? I don't know. And uh, I leave that to the decisions of the member states in the General Assembly and the Security Council. There is a set of criteria. It's up to them to make a hierarchy of those criteria and to decide according to uh, their own sovereign uh, capacity. Thank you very I, much. I have a quick Thank question. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you very much. So we'll do this again tomorrow. We've got three candidates tomorrow, so we'll do the same uh, process tomorrow and the next day. The president just announced uh, a ninth candidate um, uh, who will do Thursday morning, 9 till 11. So we'll do this tomorrow and the next day at uh, 11, at 1, and, and at 5. Thank you. Uh, Jeremy.